The city of Chicago's in shambles. The Bears haven't won a game in over a year, and they just blew a 28-7 lead to another poverty franchise in the Caleb Williams Bowl. In order to keep this from getting out of hand and out of pity for what Chicago fans have been through, the NFL commissioner gave the Bears Le Boomstick body bag the third. Le Boomstick is the scariest and best defensive player in NFL history. He is every quarterback and offensive coordinator's worst nightmare as he mutilates and paralyzes anyone that gets in his way. All of these highlights you are seeing are from Le Boomstick's debut with the Chicago Bears. Body bag recorded 23 sacks, 10 forced fumbles, and three interceptions. He single-handedly held the Broncos' offense to zero points and sent all three of their quarterbacks to the hospital. But somehow the Bears still lost. Justin Fields threw three pick sixes and blamed it on the coaching. Could be, uh, you know, uh, coaching. Looks like absolutely nobody can help the Bears win a game. Not even La Boomstick Body Bag can help the Guangdong Bears arise from misery. So even though La Boomstick beat Michael Strahan's NFL season record of 22 and a half for most sacks in a season, the Bears are now 0 and 4. Holding down the bottom of the NFC North in Chicago is on track to get the first pick in the 2024 draft again. But if you think La Boomstick is going down without a fight, you obviously must be new to the channel. The stage is set for week five, a huge matchup against the Washington Commanders. Prime time in front of the whole country. The betting line is set, favoring the Commanders by 16 and a half points, and the Bears' offense over under is set at half a point. Let's see if we can shock the world. Oh, I'm on that. Give me that. Little boy. Yeah, he's too little. Stepping on that little boy. That's a baby. That's happening all game. It's probably a pretty good yeah, sign here on the mad. opening drive of your guys from the second. La Boomstick starts the game by picking up their running back and throwing him into the dirt. On the next play, La Boomstick baits the commander's no name quarterback to throw it deep and he shuts it down. No fly zone, baby. On third down, La Boomstick brought his signature blitz on the outside and pummeled the quarterback for a quick three and out on the opening drive. But, as you can assume, the commanders got the ball back in no time because Justin Fields doesn't know how to get yardage. On first down, La Boomstick reads the quarterback for an easy interception. This guy is special. On their next drive, Body Bag brought the unexpected pass rush and blindsided their sorry excuse of a quarterback for a forced fumble turnover. You call that an offensive line? Still zeros on the scoreboard. Body Bag knew he had to take matters into his own hands. I'm taking this to the house. Yo, Justin Fields, this is how it's done. It ain't that hard to get in the end zone. Little boy. Yeah. That's all day. Come on. People forget that La Boomstick was created in a lab and was equipped with a sixth sense, so he knows exactly what the offense I doing with the football before they even know themselves. Still no sign of Justin Fields as the commander set up shop in the second quarter. That's a scary sight to see if you're a quarterback or offensive coordinator. Then look at Lay Six, the sense here as he baits the quarterback into throwing another Stevie Wonderball. Oh, I'm taking this to the house. Watch and learn, Justin Fields. It ain't that hard, little boy. Yeah, let me just sell you real quick. Yeah. Check out these abysmal quarterback stats here, right before you see the cleanest gritty of your life. Then, in Bears fashion, our kicker sends one at the goalpost for a missed extra point. Look at that stat line, baby. That's a pretty decent line for La Boomstick in the second quarter. And then this one ain't even the quarterback's fault. La Boomstick just makes an insane play here for his fifth interception of the game. That was actually a good throw. Good offense, just better defense. And the once again on the very next drive... La Boomstick doesn't even watch game film either. He just is always a step ahead. Justin Fields throws another interception to give the commander's prime field position here, but Body Bag and the Bears aren't having it. Take this to the house. Yeah. Skip around. Yeah. Such a poverty franchise, you guys have to change your name. And they bring this one back. A fumble return for a Bears touchdown.
Let me get jiggy with it. Laboomstick scores his third defensive touchdown of the game, and then our kicker hits the goalpost again. This time it went in, giving the Chicago Bears one-man team a 20-0 lead in Washington. Hey, man, get away from me. Y'all suck. Stop touching me. Up 20 to 0, Laboomstick disguised himself in man pass coverage and then barrels in at the quarterback. The QB felt his proceeds at the last second and just tried to step out of bounds, but Laboomstick body bagged him for a safety. Now up 22 to 0, Laboomstick does his unstoppable signature outside blitz and freight trains the quarterback once again. Somehow he held on to the football, so Laboomstick made sure that the next time he stripped the ball from that bum. And look, he recovered the football too. After a quick three and out by Justin Fields, the commander's burger flipper quarterback throws another Helen Keller ball and Lay Boomstick snatches it. How is this quarterback still in the game? This guy sucks. On the next drive, Sam Howell actually throws a decent pass to his wide receiver one, but La Boomstick turns into prime Odell Beckham Jr. with the one-handed insane interception. After that legendary play, La Boomstick adds another sack to his already impressive stat line and then finishes the job on the next play, forcing a fumble. You're going to be working in a coal mine because of me with your last few snaps as an NFL quarterback. Look at these two idiots scheming something up like they are actually going to do something. To no one's surprise, the Bears' offense turns the ball over. So Laboomstick makes another big play. Big-time players make big-time plays. That's nine folks. And then instead of heading back in coverage, Laboomstick brings the heat on the first play of the next drive. He gave Sam Howell CTE, so the next play he didn't oh, see so body bag really creeping over for another pick. Maybe like we're bringing the rugby guys in to help us with tackling. Maybe. And now here is another yeah, interception. To say I'm this to the house, baby. Here he goes right side. How is this guy even an NFL quarterback? Laboomstick takes his 10th interception of the game to the house. In case you were wondering, the single game record by a defensive player was four before today. Let's take another look at this textbook cornerback play by Laboomstick. If we got any youth football players watching this, you should be taking notes and probably watch this video a few times. That's just textbook football by the lab-generated synthetic beast. The Bears kicker banks in another extra point, and the Bears take a resounding 29-0 lead. We can't be happy with that, though, because as we saw in Week 4, no lead is safe with Justin Butterfinger's fields under center. Man, that face mask and visor are scary. This guy is the villain of the NFL. If you are watching this on the day of the actual Commander's Bears game, I would not use this video for betting score predictions. Body bag picks off another pass. Having a sixth sense should not be allowed in the National Football League. Why would you throw that? Yes, it's not to be in this late Thank you. That's uh, 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 12. You can do there. If you made it this far, comment your favorite Lay family member and I'll reply. Laboomstick reads the quarterback's eyes and picks off his check down pass to the running back. That's his 13th interception of the game, but who's counting? This pick six right here extended the lead to a slaughtering 35 to nothing. Yes, sir, that's all day. Y'all better like, comment, and subscribe. Come on, no? That's all day. Let's take another look at this one, because La Boomstick's play style and mannerisms are just picture perfect. Get out a pen and paper. Our kicker sends one off the goalpost again, but look at those stats, man. This is your sign to start the Bears' defense in fantasy this week. One interception short of tying the single-season record of 14 in a single game, Laboomstick uses his elite hearing to listen into the other team's huddle and is ready for the slant route. That pick ties the single-season interception record in one single game, and he takes that to the casa. That pick six right there put the dagger in the commanders. But Laboomstick body bag the third plays until the final whistle. In the final play of the game, he bullies an offensive lineman and paralyzes the quarterback. The Chicago Bears have won a football game. What? This can't be real life. Laboomstick body bag the third single handedly carries Justin Fields and the Chicago Bears to a 42 to 0 victory. Justin Fields finished with 20 passing yards and negative 15 yards of total offense, but Laboomstick put up an astounding nine and a half sacks, 14 interceptions, seven forced fumbles, six touchdowns, and a safety. Here is a look at a bar in Chicago when they won their first game in a year. When this video gets 2,500 likes, I'll drop the next game and hit that subscribe button to help me get one sub closer to seeing this guy on the cover of the next Madden. Thanks for watching. Peace.